back now with this. As President Trump continues to battle the coronavirus, there are still a lot of missing details about his condition. Dana Smith, uh, Smith spoke with an infectious disease expert at Eastern Virginia Medical School who said there's too many mixed messages on what's happening and the White House needs to be more straightforward. President Trump spent another night at Walter Reed Medical Center diagnosed with COVID-19. It's really unfortunate he became infected and we all hope that he gets better. But EVMS infectious disease expert Dr. Edward Oldfield said there are mixed messages about what's going on. How sick he is, I think, is, is quite confusing. Doctors gave the president a potent antibody cocktail called Regeneron, the experimental antiviral drug Remdesivir, and a powerful steroid, dexamethasone. Dexamethasone is only for people requiring supplemental oxygen. Doctors initially sidestepped questions about whether the president received oxygen before later admitting he did, confirming Trump experienced two oxygen drops. From his hospital room, he looks pretty good. He doesn't look short of breath. But the very interesting thing about COVID is that there's uh, something called the happy hypoxic. In other words, your oxygen is so low that with other conditions, people would be thinking about putting you on a ventilator and they're talking on a cell phone. Oldfield said it's critical doctors are truthful with the details. We can handle it. Sunday, Trump did a drive-by photo op, waving to supporters. I think it was dangerous. This as more people he's been in contact with have also tested positive for the coronavirus. You wonder if that Rose Garden event where people were sitting side by side, no social distancing, hugging, uh, no, rarely did anybody have a mask on. Uh, and it looks like a lot of the people that become infected were at that event. All eyes are on this, on the president's health right now. What do you think people should learn from this or what can be the message? Yeah, I think the message is clearly you need to wear masks. Dana Smith, 13 News Now.